In the Gospel of Mark, there's a great story about a man who was healed and delivered from demons. And he came to Jesus and asked him if he could go with him and his disciples. And Jesus gives an interesting answer. Listen to what he says from the Gospel of Mark. He says to the man, No, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. A wonderful and amazing pastor preacher in the 19th century, Alexander McLaren, who was a British man, tells the story about a four-part sermon series that he did. It was on the great doctrines of the Bible. And he was excited because he heard there was a well-known skeptic atheist in the crowd. So every Sunday he shared these messages. And at the end of the four-part series, this skeptic, this brilliant man came to him and said, I want you to know I've accepted Christ. So McLaren sat down with him and said, tell me, which of the messages convinced you of the truth of Jesus? He said, well, I'm not sure it really was any of the messages. He says, I was leaving the sanctuary one day and an elderly woman was outside and she just had a radiant face and I was helping her down the street. It was icy, it was snowing. And she looked up at me and she says, do you know my savior? I love him so much and I know you would too. He said, those words haunted me all day. And when I got home, I got down on my knees and I received Christ as my savior. So sometimes it's really not the words of the pastor or the sermon, it's the words of the person individually who has been so impacted by the Lord, when they tell someone else, it comes with great power. And I wanna encourage you, you have a testimony, you have a story that only you can tell. And tell others your story. It can mean so much more sometimes than them just listening to a sermon. You have a testimony and you need to share it.